Hello everybody and welcome to another MX vs. ATV Legends video. And today guys, we are going to be talking about Pro Motocross. And um, wow, this game feels so different. What the hell? What do you guys think about this update, first and foremost? Um, I think it's kind of mid. Leave it down in the comments. Also make sure to subscribe. We're so close to a thousand subs, so I would really appreciate if you guys hit that subscribe button. Uh, it's always my goal to hit a thousand, so... Uh, crazy that I'm uh, almost there so super cool but yeah today we're talking about pro motocross you know Chase Sexton, Eli Tomac and um, first I want to start off with the 250 class um, and obviously I think a jet, jet has it I mean um, the only way you know a guy like Shimoda um, really has a chance is if Jet crashes and crashes out I mean that's really it it's really the only chance he has so or Jet has two bad weekends anything's possible man he's a young kid you know Jet's you know he's been prone to make some mistakes and he has been recently um, so that's what Joe has to hope for but I think Jet has this all locked up I think he's got the title in the bag but let's go to the more important stuff the 450 class first I want to talk about the Barsha Ferrandis incident um, why do I pop off there, dude? I, I don't know. It's weird to me. But yeah, Barsha Ferrandis, super interesting. Obviously, Ferrandis like posted something on. Uh, oh my God, he posted something on Instagram, and he's not happy at, at the at the Bam Bam boy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why he's not happy. I mean, Barsha. I mean, Ferrandis, you're not the only one, buddy. You know what I'm saying? You're you're the most recent victim, buddy. Uh, this is nothing new from the Bam Bam Boy. And so, I think Ferranis was racing extremely aggressive. Um, even in the first moto, he had a really, really close call with Barsha. And it was Ferranis' fault. Ferranis almost took Barsha out in that first moto. And so, apparently the mechanic's like, hey, man, get him back. You know what I'm saying? Go get him back. And if your mechanic tells you go get him back, guess what you're going to need? Go get him back, dude. Come on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and if anyone's going to go get him back, it's going to be goddamn Bam Bam Barsha. You know what I'm saying? He ain't scared. All right. And so Frannis obviously races Barsha aggressive again. And Barsha's like, hell no, dude. Hell to the no, no, no. And so Frannis takes him off the track. And Barsha's like, let me do what I do best, dude. I'm a 99 overall front tire fucking whatever you want to call it, dude. He's He's got complete his takeover badge is on he's like I'm I, you're done I'm murdering you and that's exactly what he does he goes right for the front wheel tucks Francis front wheel Francis goes flying dude flying and uh, ends up retiring from the race and Barsha I don't know what he expected he got disqualified uh, Barsha then made a post on Instagram uh, with the GoPro footage uh, it doesn't help anything Barsha uh, <laughs> Barsha it don't help buddy it doesn't help. I mean, obviously, there's definitely context to this. He didn't just do it for no reason. But even though there is context, it, it doesn't matter. Um, still can't do that. And still unsportsmanlike. It's still dumb. You can still get a guy hurt. You know, especially a guy that has been hurt all season. It's just it's just dumb. You're not fighting France for a title fight. He, he's, his points don't matter. All you, It's fine to lose to Ferrandis. You're still going to get your whatever, your sixth overall, seventh overall, whatever you be getting. So... Yeah, uh, that's that is what it is. Next, I'm gonna talk about Hayden Deegan. Um, yeah, pro debut for Hayden Deegan. Uh, should be really cool to watch. He's rocking 438, and uh, I don't know much to say. I mean, it just he's a 16 year old kid. You know, he's he was on a super mini like not even like a year ago. So uh, yeah, I mean, I hope he just goes out and has fun, and you know, doesn't be too too much of a wild man out there. I think go out first moto, feel it out. You know, maybe. Maybe squeeze in the top 10 if you think you can, but, you know, if not, just kind of stay around the, the a comfortable pace. And then second moto, leave it all out there, you know what I'm saying, and see what you can really do. Um, but this is all learning. Obviously, his points don't matter. What he, where he gets, where he finishes, doesn't matter. Um, he's never been to Ironman. It's a new track for him. So he needs to just get there and just have fun, enjoy it, um, not be nervous, because obviously there's, there's no stakes here. Just go out and have fun. Um, you know, next year is what matters, so... Yeah, it's going to be cool to watch him. Um, hopefully he doesn't have too much pressure on him. He probably does, but um, at least for his next two races, and if he goes to Fox Raceway, um, 
you know, then we're going to see him go out and just have some fun and, you know, just see kind of where he's at pace-wise. And, uh, yeah, that's probably – that's about it for Aiden. Now we're going to talk about the 450 class, obviously Chase Sexton, Eli Tomac. Um, who's got the title? So, um, obviously we saw Chase at Unadilla just completely wipe his ass with Eli Tomac. It was, ama it was literally amazing. Um, it's something you never see. So it was, it was cool to see – Finally, someone is actually doing something and beating Eli. And so uh, Chase, obviously, you know, goes 1-1. One -one. It's not even like a – he's not even like trying. The dude's literally just better than everyone, clearly. And then Bud's Creek happens, right? And so um, <laughs> first lap, Chase, well, he, he, he hits neutral. And uh, that's not good. If you don't know what that means, that's bad, bad. That is not good, good. And so then he goes over the bars, right, violently. And somehow he's okay. He gets up quick, gets on his bike in literal seconds, probably like six seconds maybe. He was already going forward again. So at that point, yeah, it's kind of like what's happening here, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, all right, like Chase, he's done this so many times this year. You know, he's kind of like a Jet Lawrence in the fact that he, he makes mistakes. The dude, the dude makes mistakes. Um, and so it was like whatever and then a few corners later a rider goes down a corner Chase does what he always does doesn't look ahead he loves to look down and well rails the berm and then goes right over the bars um, on the uh, other rider and so he goes over the bars two times in the first lap um, again both were violent like both were scary to watch and somehow he's okay he gets up gets back on his bike and uh, ends up finishing seventh, which amazing, amazing job. I mean, the dude came back and beat factory riders, you know, from going way back in time, way back. Dude's like 15 seconds, 20 seconds back from like seventh place when he got up that second time. So crazy what he did there. Great recovery. Obviously, Tomac goes out and wins that moto. And then the second moto was was uh, very important. Um, Chase needed to win, and he needed Tomac to well do what he did first moto, not do well. And that's exactly what happened, um, which I hope for. Sorry, Tomac fans. I just, I'm not even like a Chase fan. I just want to see this be close. And so it was really, really cool to see Chase go out, blow by everyone, give no one a chance, and just win the moto. And then to see Tomac not get a start and just kind of struggle to, to move up. He couldn't get past, uh, couldn't get past the old Dungey Meister. You know what I'm saying? Dungey, if you told me, that Dungey would beat Eli Tomac in a moto, I wouldn't believe you, dude. I just wouldn't. All right, in 2022, you know, you told me in like 2020, yo, Ryan Dungey in 2022, he's going to beat Eli Tomac in a moto. I've been like, what the hell are you talking about, buddy? And that just happened. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's affecting these guys. You know, Tomac knows that he... You know, he's going to leave the points lead. And um, even though it's one point, it's one point's big, man. This could end by one point. With, the, with how fast these dudes are, they're clearly the one-two guys. That's how that's how close it could be. It could be just who gets the overall in that last race of the season. And so, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Um, Predictions-wise, I got Tomac. I, I just do. Chase is faster than Eli Tomac. He is. I truly believe that. I just don't think he's as consistent, and I think he might make one mistake. And at this point, one mistake loses you the championship. There's four motos left. You make a mistake in one of those motos, it's over for you. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I think that's what watched this video. Make sure to subscribe. So close to 1,000 subs. Leave a comment down below who you guys think has this championship. What do you think is going to happen um, on Saturday? And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Peace.